Aries, this is your love reading from the 20. Let me see, the 23rd until the 30th, the last day of May. We're going to be looking into a little bit into your recent past, and then we're going to move into your near future. Um, we're also going to ask the spirit guides, okay, to give us a surprise or two, to show us maybe what might be coming in, or maybe certain things that may be happening that may give us a surprise, or what we're not expecting. So let's get into your reading. I'm using Moonology. We just had an amazing full moon in, in Scorpio. There was a lunar eclipse so let's use that energy in this readings Woo, Aries hello hello <laughs> okay so we're going to read the energy under the stick here to see what we do not see is coming hello Aries who does not believe in love okay hello my Aries who does not believe in love here because you got two cards that have come out I think it's quite interesting it's saying a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra okay and then you got this one here that's blue moon which is that moon that's full twice in the month which is quite rare believe in the impossible so you might be sitting here aries going i am never going to find somebody this is impossible it hasn't happened as of to date and i don't think it's going to happen coming into the future and your spirit guides are calling you out in this reading they're literally letting you know um aries no um you have to believe in what you do not believe you have to believe in what you do not see so um, I actually saw a three of wands fall over there, and that is a card of meeting new people, okay? The three of wands did show itself, new experiences coming in. Let's see what will come up in your reading. Let's have a look and see. We're going to look into the recent past, and then we're going to look into your near future. So let's have a look and see. Recent past, parting of ways, night of voices, reverse position. Still holding on to hope there. Let me move my little feathers. And then near future. Not feeling so not feeling not feeling confident in in remember we're looking at near future. So we might be able to tell when this energy is coming in here. So with the Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse position and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you not really, really not sure. That's why the energy of this believing the impossible is coming in. Because it's kind of showing like and I saw the nine of wands. You see what I'm saying? Checking your cards are really talking today. And um, I see you not being secure in your belief that there could be somebody else out there. And we got a Wheel of Fortune in your recent past that just flipped like that. Recent past showing the Wheel of Fortune, which means that there has been a run of bad luck when it comes to love. Okay, so but there is a new start coming in here. You see what I'm saying? There is a new start coming in here because of the Page of Swords coming. The Page of Swords is a new beginning. Let's see what else comes up here. you got to work on yourself while this is coming in. There it is. There's the full card. There's the new beginning. There's the new beginning. While you are waiting for this to happen, you need to work on yourself. I feel like reading the energy under this deck. I wasn't going to, but as I put the deck down, Something said, read the energy under the deck. Well, Spirit Guide said. So let's have a look and see. We're going to turn it over. So this is the thing with your reading. You really have, because of what you have seen in love, okay, you really have um, kind of given up on it because you've had to deal with a lot of this kind of energy. And the Knight of Voices in the reverse position can indicate a person or people's kind of behavior, which is very quick moving, very swift. Um, it can sometimes indicate people who are, um, uh, it's not the best energy when it comes to conversation. This wouldn't be a communication card. It would be more like a listen to me card. So you might be, might have dealt with somebody who was actually quite sharp when it came to how they spoke. Um, maybe said some very, very painful things to you. Um, sometimes they, they can, break up with you very quickly and when they do so they just kind of say the worst things they can possibly say and this could have been something that you've been dealing with for a while with this um, wheel of fortune being there and the knight of voices being on top which is knight of swords energy that can be somebody that kind of cuts you out very 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 quickly and um, I don't like that kind of energy it can be a person that's very um, very cheeky very mean-spirited sometimes and I see you even though you've experienced all of this, yeah, you are on the side here, still holding on to hope. 
you're still holding on to this belief and this hope that you will be able to find somebody here or somebody else is going to come in like it's like you're looking where is this person the way he's standing there sort of like looking behind him looking around him it's almost like male or female energy um he's looking to see where is this person you know because i see one thing that i'm finding quite interesting here especially in this past energy every one of these cards I just noticed this now, and it's the first time I'm actually seeing it. <laughs> Every one of these cards here, even though there are two different decks, they all got clouds in them. There's clouds in the background here. There's clouds with the Knight of Voices, clouds in the Wheel of Fortune, and in the Ace of uh, Swords here as well. So the thing is, um, the clouds would indicate dreams. It would be um, our thoughts, what we are thinking about, what we wish to our, our, it's like our fancies and our daydreams you know what i mean because sometimes we can go sit outside in the garden or wherever and we stare at the clouds and watch them form different shapes and we can imagine that this is a rabbit or that's a little bird flying over there in the clouds when they change and it's almost like your your daydreams or your thoughts um about you thinking about a specific person that's not really real it's more like a fantasy in your mind you're imagining somebody that's quite interesting energy can i tell you something if you are doing that and you are maybe sitting there sort of like imagining somebody or picturing a relationship coming in and sort of like it seems like it's a fantasy actually you're practicing a very powerful manifestation technique by doing this if you kind of like picture meeting that special person and you know like you're sitting around maybe you're just sitting in your garden and you picture meeting the special person you might be doing this already and you know the moment you meet them what they say to you it's the imagination but that kind of thinking is extremely powerful so do this especially in those few moments like before you go to bed at night like picture meeting this person and you and this person just get along so well what kind of personality they have what they like about you um you know all those kinds of things really go for it and really dream about that it's actually really powerful um while you are because there is a person coming in yeah is the fool there's the fool card there is a person coming in while you are waiting for this to happen work on healing all of that energy on you waiting for something on people believing in them and then they didn't do the right thing for you so really work on your healing work on letting go of the past because in this card we actually see somebody really sad because of what has happened in the past year but because you sometimes we think about the past too much and this is what we must not think about we must think about the clouds the dream of what we actually want to have not the things that we don't want to have because right behind you is the two cups over there which is a relationship in your life so i have been wanting to turn this card remember we want to look into this and we want to see maybe some surprises or something that we don't know what we don't see coming here so let's see wow this is coming sooner than what you think i knew i had to turn that deck this is coming towards you with speed and success because we've got an eight of swords here this is a card of speed it's a card of gain of dreaming and success so let's see what other energies come under this deck here for you nothing is set in stone thank you you see believe in the impossible your future is not already predicted you don't know yet <laughs> nothing is stepped in stone there is a lot that is still going to happen in your life that you do not see let's see what else will come up here the energy is gaining momentum and there it is there it is this is coming towards you this is something that is growing stronger and stronger it is coming towards you it's gaining momentum for me because i noticed that you have to work on your healing in the near future but very soon i mean this can be maybe a month or two from when i'm doing the reading i feel like you're going to meet this person it is actually soon i don't feel like this is like oh it's going to happen in a year from now i feel like this is real soon energy because of the speed that they're showing us twice here in your reading but the there we go thank you so much aries for coming into this reading um if you want to get more content i do these readings every week you can follow otherwise hit that subscribe button and comment below i want to i want to hear what you've what you've got to say about this because a lot of times a lot of people kind of like just don't believe it until they see it and sometimes sometimes 
we have to like believe in the impossible i mean i gotta just use that quote but it's actually the truth so there we go i'm sending you my absolute love thank you for watching bye